Hi, everybody, and welcome to your Pittsburgh. I'm David Highfield. And I'm Susan Copen. We are outside tonight on the terrace at the Carnegie Science Center with a spectacular view of the city. Yeah, it's nice for us to be outside during the summer for a change. You know, summertime is a big time for blockbuster films, and there's a big one coming out next week. It's the next Star Trek movie. Star Trek Beyond. It's starring Green Tree native Zachary Quinto, who plays Spock. He does. He was back in town recently. I had a chance to hang out with him for a while. I got the scoop on the movie and what it was like for him growing up in the burg. It looks pretty awesome. As we walk around Point State Park with Zachary Quinto, he takes pictures of his hometown. Do you remember coming Oh my here? God, yeah. I remember the arts festival music stage was here. He's so down to earth, it's easy to forget he's a movie star until someone wants a picture with him. Oh, it's just nice to meet you, man. man Have a good night. Be well, thanks, buddy. And it's the role of Spock in the latest Star Trek movies that's made him a household name. Fear of death is illogical. Fans also love him for his dark roles, like the serial killer on the TV show Heroes. I remember you. Andy performs on stage here in the revival of The Glass Menagerie. I thought perhaps you wished for a gentleman calling. Zachary grew up in Green Tree, the younger of two boys. I was really enamored of the news growing up. And KDKA, you'll be happy to know, was the news channel of our household. And when he was about 11, he met a KDKA personality at Dairy Queen. Zachary had left, but then realized he had forgotten to pay, so he rushed back. And Bob and Lisa Pompiani were behind me in line, and they thought it was so cool that I came back that they paid for my ice cream. And then we became friends. <laughs> oh, and it turns out a young Zachary was once interviewed on KDKA about a volunteer project to help other kids. I think that self-esteem is so important in kids, and especially with school. Zachary went to high school at Central Catholic. This was my old room. English teacher Mary Ann Lynch is in this old yearbook picture with him. She was a, a, a big supporter of my shenanigans when I was in high school. Of course, he was part of the school's theater productions. He knew then that this really was what he wanted to do with his life. And they both remember what he did in class. He would, at times, stare out the window at CMU, thinking, this is where I'm going to be after I leave Central Catholic. And I was just dreaming of, you know, being, uh, being in a production at Carnegie Mellon School of Drama. His dream came true. He wound up studying musical theater at CMU. Some of his early TV appearances include Six Feet Under, Charmed, and playing a director on Lizzie McGuire. Touchdown and smile. But fans now know him for a variety of work, from American Horror Story. Man, I've always been self-aware to the wall street drama margin call to his most well-known role as the new spot you will experience fear he tells me it meant a lot to him to get the approval of the man who originated the role leonard nimoy i shall simply say good luck i lost my own father when i was very young and they were around the same age and you know the physical resemblance is undeniable and he was an incredible friend and uh, in influence on me for the better part of the decade that I knew him before he passed. Zachary says he's grateful for his career and grateful to be from Pittsburgh. He tries to get back a couple of times a year. Mary Ann Lynch tells me she'll never forget when he paid her a surprise visit. I turned and there was Zach. And, you know, we hugged each other and I said to him, our eyes both teared up and I said, I am so proud of you. And he said back to me, thank you for letting me dream. And those are things I think no matter how long you teach, um, you know, you live for. Zachary says Pittsburgh is always part of him. In fact, he can slip into Pittsburghese at a moment's notice. Oh yeah, I got that done, no problem, but you know. <laughs> But seriously, he says the Berg instilled in him a respect for others, and he loves coming back. It's always good to come home. Uh, I feel strongly connected to this place. And we want to thank him for talking with us. He was so cool. The new film comes out July 22nd, and he says it'll be a bit of a twist. Some of the characters you're used to seeing together will be separated in Ooh. this, so it'll be a little different. Nice. Did he teach you the salute? The Vulcan, no. I didn't ask. I can't do it right. You can't do it. Am you I doing it? You kind of got it. Is that right? You're good. No, I think I think okay. you got it. I'm trying. Good job.